If you haven't listened to any of the other personality type overviews yet, then you may not know that there are actually three triad systems within the Enneagram. Usually folks just talk about the triad centers of the head, the heart, and the gut, but there are actually two more triads, the harmonic triad and the hornevian triad. I'll get to those other two in a moment, but let's start off with the triad centers. Type nine peacemakers are in the gut group, which is also called the body group, along with type eight challengers and type one reformers. Nines are actually the impinged type of the gut group, which just means that they're in the middle of their triad, and so they're the most blind to all the issues that gut types have. So eights, nines, and ones all struggle with rage due to their lack of control over their environment. Eights externalize their rage because it feels powerful, ones suppress their rage because it feels morally wrong, and nines just try to ignore it completely. But that causes nines to have unexpected explosions of anger and then feel ashamed about it. So they have the issues of both eights and ones, which is why they're impinged. Okay, that's the triad centers in a nutshell. Now let's talk about the harmonic triad, which describes the general ways we choose to cope with pain, trauma, or even minor setbacks. The three groups within the harmonic triad are the reactive group, the competency group, and the positive outlook group. Nines are in the positive outlook group alongside type two helpers and type seven enthusiasts. The positive outlook group deals with pain exactly how it sounds, and they are masters at finding the silver lining. For nines though, they're just in denial about how bad things are because their greatest fear is a loss of harmony and connection. Nines really need help processing hard feelings like grief in order for their positive outlook to be grounded in reality rather than their hardwired instinct to avoid pain. All right, last up is the Hornevian triad, which groups Enneagram types based on their social behaviors. The three groups within the Hornevian triad are the assertive group, the compliant group, and the withdrawn group. Nines are in the withdrawn group, along with type five investigators and type four individualists. Peacemakers deal with social discomfort by withdrawing into themselves. Nines may be able to keep themselves physically present with the group and stay out partying late into the night, but they withdrew into their mind hours before the night ended and have been daydreaming about exactly what they're going to watch, read, or eat when they get home. If nines don't have a strong social instinct, it can be incredibly difficult to get them out of the house and into the world to experience anything even mildly adventurous. All right, that's where nines fall within each of the three Enneagram triads. Now, I know that the Enneagram can be really uncomfortable at times because it's super specific and super critical. It's not a big celebration of our unique personality. And instead, the Enneagram sees personality types as the set of behaviors we take on to survive in the world. It's ego-driven. And the real you, what the Enneagram calls your essence, lays beneath that personality. So that's why I like to end these episodes with some practical tips and reminders to help you notice your personality in action so you can make informed decisions to either live into that personality or transcend it and tap into your essence. 